Hi there, well, welcome to another video here by Ginger Jefferson. Hope you're all doing absolutely wonderful. Today I'm going to show you a guide on how to find Flowood, Dragon's Beard Pete, the Bright Shroom, some Heat Root, and even Diary Cloves. And the most hardest thing to find, I believe, is the Heart Drop Lily. So, what we're going to be using for this, we're going to be using a Dowsing Rod. So, very simple to start with. You want to go off and find a Shure. Uh, you will need Origin level 8. And the Dow to unlock the Dowsing Rod recipe from him. If you scroll down a little bit there, you'll see it. And it's 2,500 gold. But it also does cost 6 Coral, 10 Ceramic, and 5 Flint. Which are very easy resources to get. But then if you are past your level 10 and you do earn medals... You can pay 50 medals for it. So like here you go, you can craft it. Very simple thing to craft. But like I said, if you are past level 10 and you are collecting medals, you can buy it that way. But if you would like to craft it, I do feel this is the better option myself. So there we go, it's all crafted and off to Bahari we go. So when I activate it, you'll listen very carefully. I have increased the noise for this. That metallic noise you just heard, that is the noise of it being activated. So anybody in the area from you will hear it. And as you can see, there's quite a few things around us. So start off instantly, taking us to Bright Shrooms. These can be found anywhere around ruins. I didn't actually think that the Thousand Rod would have picked these up. I thought these would have been quite common. So now we found some dairy clothes. Everything makes a unique noise. As you can hear, it's like a like pulsing noise. And then we got heat root. And what I couldn't believe, like how close heat root could be together. Like, this is crazy. So I went down to the coast, completely like unaware at the time that it actually picked up uh, Dragon's Beard Peep Moss as well. So, learn something new every day. This really surprised me when I was actually making this. It actually took me to flow trees, and here we are. We have two like side by side, which I thought, okay, it probably takes us to like the smaller trees. But it actually takes you to all sizes of flow trees, which I thought was absolutely amazing. So if you're doing this solo, I'd recommend that someone with you if you're looking for flow trees specifically. Because if you do, you know, find a bigger tree, you're not going to be able to cut it by yourself. As we, as how well, it stumbled across here for me. So uh, just to show you for the purpose of the video. Right, so this heart drop lily, I didn't know what it was at the time, but I, I knew it was a heart drop lily because previously I managed to find one here. It's an absolute nightmare to get to, so this is like a little like video that I feel like would be like very beneficial to you. So if you're ever down this area and you are looking for heart drop lilies and you're unsure where to look, this is one of the more awkward ones to find that does spawn in this area. So as you can see, i got to go around and around the cliff. And as you'll notice in a minute, it's a very small gap you've got to make on a jump, but with the glider, it does make it so much more simple. I've done this multiple times, so to me, it's actually not so bad. But here we go, this is the heart drop lily. So if you listen here, you can hear it. Alright everybody, this was purely done with Thousand Rod. This Thousand Rod made my life so much more easier getting these six items. I really hope this video helps you. If it does, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else you'd like to see and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you so much for your time.